Okay, so today's video blog is all about how to prevent injury to your knees and hips. And the way you do that is to keep from reaching with your legs, landing with your foot out in front of you. There's a number of causes for why you do that. I'm going to cover the causes, and I'm going to cover the problems it creates, and I'm going to talk about how to correct it. So let's start with the start. Part of the problem with why people land with their foot out in front of them is because when you run upright, you have to land with your foot out in front of you. So the idea is to not run upright. Obviously, all the chi running is built around having a lean. So you lean forward. But what happens when you run upright is that if my body is vertical, the only way my body is going to move forward is if I push myself forward with my back leg. If I'm vertical and I push myself forward my back leg, I have to catch myself with my front leg. So I have to land with that foot out in front of me. And when you're running, every time you land with your foot in front of your center of mass, it means you're putting the brakes on with every step. So it's like pushing with one leg and stopping with the other one. Okay, so you want to avoid doing that. So obviously running upright is not the way to cure the problem. So it is the cause of the problem. So, what it causes, not only, you know, braking puts pressure, the road's coming at you at whatever speed you're running. There's a road coming at you. So if you put your foot out into that road that's coming at you, all the force of that road's going to travel right up your leg. Well, whatever your weak link is, if it's your knees, you'll feel it in your knees. If it's your hips, you'll feel the impact in your hips or in your lower back. You'll feel all of that in your lower back. The other thing that you'll feel is for most people when they land with their foot in front of them, they dorsiflex, which means that your toe comes up like this. They do that to cushion their fall, I guess. When you dorsiflex, you're flexing the tibialis anterior muscle. And as you hit, that muscle, your foot goes down into the ground and that muscle is contracted and then it's being your foot is pulling against that contracted muscle and it works it loose from the bone and that's how people get shin splints is from landing with their heel striking out in front of them. So that's another thing we're going to talk about is how to keep yourself from hitting with your heel out in front of you. Now, the way to fix the problem is to remember one thing. Don't ever step past your hip. What do I mean by that? That means that every time my foot lands, when I'm running, every time my foot lands in my, the support phase of my stride, it means that my foot is underneath me. And that sometimes it's even a little behind my center of mass. Okay? I don't want my foot to land in front of my hips, ever. If it lands in front of my hips, it's in front of my center of mass. And so, the main ruling idea you want to keep inside your head is to never let your feet get ahead of your hips. Don't let your feet land, hit the ground in front of your hips. So when I'm running, my leg goes behind me, my heel comes up, and when my foot comes back down, it just comes down at the bottom of my posture stance. It doesn't swing and come out in front of me. So the idea is to fall forward from your ankles, let your leg trail out behind you, your knee bends, and then your foot comes just back down underneath you. So your foot makes a circular path, but your foot doesn't ever come in front of you. The whole wheel is behind you. It's like those old steam locomotives that had a, a driving wheel. Okay, Your foot goes circular, your knee really goes lateral. Okay, parallel to the ground. So my foot always comes down underneath me. And then there's no chance that I'm going to be putting the brakes on. Now the idea of really efficient running is that every time your foot comes down on the ground, you want to have it heading rearward when it hits. So it's already going the direction the road is going every time your foot comes down. The way to accomplish that is that you let your foot go out the back, let your hip 
Go back with your leg. That lengthens your stride, and so that when your foot comes back down, this is the starting position, and then your pelvis rotates and lets you let your hip go back with your leg. And if you really let your pelvis rotate back with each stride, then your opposite leg can't go too far forward. It has, it's more likely to come down underneath you. 